Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die and in today's episode I'm going to be doing a bit more building not around here, I've done here already um, it's good enough for now but if we come through here as you can see I've started I started working on this last night and yeah, I got all the concrete work done it was all of my concrete as well so today's episode will be at least getting this floor done and see how much work up there I can get done as well and yeah it actually looks like I'm mean, not having the frame rate issues so I, I did adjust my settings a little but um, also it seems to be like having a lot of the rebar frames doesn't seem to help I noticed a bit of lag when I was doing that downside of the size is a little close to the edge and unlike Minecraft um, holding down the shift key doesn't make you not fall over the side I already had one tumble earlier somehow didn't hurt myself so I got lucky there it was only a short one and yeah I'm going to have some doors through to the outside so I can get out there for maintenance or other things, screwing around or just you know firing down on zombies. The lower levels I can get from the ramps so I haven't bothered down there but also there's stuff like I can't really see it from there. Um, a couple of floors down there's actually a dunny sitting on the side of the building and of course it's kind of hilarious so figured I'd stay with that. Right let's start upgrading and yeah the main part of construction will be done with this after this it's just furniture work and infilling all of this and of course making those windows I don't actually have many yet so that'll be my next focus that and getting all the forges set up so I don't have to keep going back to the farm each time I need to uh, run a batch of metal it's a little frustrating at the moment I actually should go and grab those I actually had several set up. Only one in the house itself, but a couple more nearby. As you can see, I'm not having any lag, so I seem to have conquered the problem. Either that or there's just less to view out the side, so it's just not being as badly affected. I'm not really going to complain because it does uh, make a better video. and I have to hurry because um, I think Alpha 19 is coming soon because I did see something from Mad Mole about it so yeah that's probably something to watch out for because I figure Alpha 19 is going to lift the game yet again though it does look like biofuel went away for some reason I miss it especially as um, I reached the point where I can start growing a lot of corn and well oh. shit do I have a splint? that's the next question or am I going to be limping around for the rest of this episode? I mean that is I feel very dumb right now of course I have missed a few spots and I don't normally carry a splint because I don't normally hurt myself and this will literally be the first or second I've actually needed unlike some people <laughs> um, right yeah I have plenty of weapons in there and yes I have splints Right, let's try and avoid any more tumbles. Okay, where was that hole I fell through? Yeah, so things don't always go quite according to plan, and I should probably pay a bit more attention to what I'm doing. Because I already fell through one hole before. Though it was only a short fall, 
and it was actually a gap between that and the unrepaired concrete. <laughs> also, this is a good way to get a hell of a lot of XP. Yeah, I was just going to ladder up to the next level, but yeah, I figured I'd probably try and get these done, as I think these also affect the frame rate. I'm noticing some lag now, which is probably because I'm recording at the same time, because that puts a bit more load on the computer. And I think that my hard drive is a bit of a bottleneck. I really need a two drive set up for recording, you know, have the games on one drive and, you know, the computer and all that on one, and, uh, maybe have a dedicated hard drive for recording to and maybe an SSD as that's something of a thing my computer doesn't have one <laughs> um, and I think it, when I originally built it the person I had paid to build it um, probably planned for an SSD because uh, the mechanical hard drive it's got is actually a slow economy drive though it's only recently it started actually showing up um, with some games that it's not quite fast enough. And you can see the area where you had all the walkways that I haven't bothered. Yeah, that's probably going to be a hazard. At least I won't fall far this time. Anyway, once I get this done, I can. Um, Maybe do a bit of exploring. I'm sure there's some good POIs. I need it. There we go. Honestly, I have no idea why that's so difficult. That's another section taken care of. And then I can get on with the next one over here and yeah, you can see I'm going to fall through there I just know it I might see if I can temporarily yeah that'll bring me fall through of course then I'll probably end up upgrading it because I'm not paying attention or something and yeah as you can see the living quarters are coming along just nicely I have to go find some concrete and come back and upgrade that. Maybe that one as well. So yes, quite a bit of this was actually in place and yeah, I just leveled up as well. <laughs> also have a convenient ladder there for going between levels. life I mean it's like can't be going to work <laughs> um, it's a little bit odd because I'm not driving my normal car because of course um, it needs brake work so if I get this all recorded now which is why I'm recording late at night and so I apologize if any of the quality is off a bit yeah because I want plenty of yeah I'm gonna fall through that aren't I I'm gonna leave that there And now uh, just concentrate on getting as much done as possible. I mean, I'm, at the moment I'm making three videos a week, so maybe not my old record, but these take a bit more time to make, so there's a lot, a couple of hours of, like there's a good hour or two of um, off-camera work putting all of this together. And I'll just put those there. You know, safety first, as they always say. Especially in the apocalypse, it's not like I can go to a hospital, although there is the remains of a medical clinic a few floors down, which I need to loot sometime. And you know, if I get finished with everything up here, I might actually head down there and just start trying to resurrect as many floors as I can, but that's not a priority at the moment. 
and you know getting that bridge finished over the chasm that's another priority job but um, you're getting these floors done will be another okay, you can go there just to be safe building weatherproofed. I don't know what happened to this building, it's like something hit it. I mean I can sort of understand this building is not, probably not the most sound of structures to build in. It has a lot of large open spaces which don't do the structural integrity any good. I mean that's why there's not many pillars around here because that's the only one that really goes down all the way down so there's just not much point wasting material for the rest. I'm not planning on building all too much here. Yeah, it's just tempting fate to leave that open. That's a bit better. Okay, let's see. So yeah, this build's not going to be as big as my uh, Alpha 17 build, but that got a little out of hand, and I will admit it actually put me off playing the game for quite a while because I was just playing sick of it. And yeah, there's still a lot of work and decorative stuff, like I'm going to try and make it look like it was never trashed in the first place. Although, I'll probably half, maybe put some walls in here. The, the, everything's going to be made out of iron frames, I think. It's just the only way to keep this structure light enough. I don't really want to put the weight up too much. So the last thing I want is a massive collapse. It wasn't so bad in my underground builds when, you know, 200 blocks fall to the ground. So I sort of learned a few things there, but one of which is never pulled underground in a sand biome. Right, that's that section done. coming along nicely. I'm actually surprised how much progress I'm actually having of late. <laughs> and the more progress I get now, the more time I have for fun later. Of course next I have to go find a spot for a horde base. Um, I might end up using the radio station again. Um, I might have to do some work on it, it's getting a bit trashed. So that might be its final rodeo. And I'll have a proper place set up. Um, for what comes after, and then maybe after that I might set my days to a bit shorter than, I think they're 90 minutes. Which is, it's good for building like this because it gives me plenty of time for mining. I get a long mining period at night and um, time for crafting because it puts the hordes well apart. But the downside of it is progression is a bit slow. Although it's also good for exploring because I can go a lot further and sort of don't have to hide at night um, somewhere far from home. I can do a round trip. So that's a conundrum. I might actually just tweak it depending on what I'm doing. Slot. And that's all my iron. Or last, or should I say, all the iron I have on me. I have plenty of iron and as you can see I'm starting to get set up for crafting around here. I haven't decided yet where I'm going to put the forges. I might put them over in that corner near the window. I mean you would have them by the window because that stuff is nasty. And yeah these floors are high enough that I have to get them from above. Which does not really make it easier. No, oh, this is quite a successful construction episode. I mean, it's not anything the Z Nation would make. If you haven't seen any videos from him recently. I wonder what he's doing. Or what JC does, I mean, 
I'm not sure how much time he spends on them, but I just don't really have that much time these days. A couple of years ago, like back in Alpha 15 and to a lesser degree, even to Alpha 18, I didn't really do much with Alpha 16. I had plenty of time on my hands to actually do this sort of stuff. Where are the stairs? They're around here somewhere. I mean, I'm even getting... I still haven't even looted this place, even though I'm kind of living in there. I'm going to bring up the cooking stuff soon, and... Well, there's the lifts. And eventually I'll start patching those walls. Also got to go down and um, tear out some of the stairs. Don't want to make it too easy for the Zeds to get in here. And as you can see, I've started clearing a lot of the metal off the roof. Uh, I might actually put some more of these in somewhere. Yeah, maybe those four there. I'll leave them. I'll just work on these outside ones. taking a lot less uh, iron frames than I thought. I'm going to have plenty left for the next stage. I'm going to start partitioning up the building. <laughs> and generally trying to make this place actually look like it never got torn to shreds. And as you can see I've been quite busy in here. everything and I might leave a lot of these but I'll probably clear some because they don't look very nice anyway yeah as I said I'll put some more planting areas so I have some more food once I get the farm started I'm going to be pretty set on food I mean I already got plenty like last episode's wolf ambush <laughs> I got a lot of meat out of that Don't. oh there it is I wonder if that's what happened with the last hole I had that's that lot done yeah I had to get the cement work done first for structural integrity yeah, I think this stuff's actually better, but it's just not stronger, and you want maximum strength there. If I actually had steel, those would become steel blocks, especially those ones that I think are actually load-bearing. But this is probably helping quite a bit. After this, I think it's just mostly glass work. That's going to be a lot of windows. here. Oh yeah, that's already... Yeah, see, you can't quite fall on that one, so I'm going to not worry about it. Anyway, we're nearly out of time. I better get a move along. some exploring the next episode. Well, obviously I need to get ready for the horde, don't I? And see if maybe check out the wasteland biome. <laughs> um, I mean, this town is reasonably safe. I mean, as safe as you're going to get in the apocalypse. Always wanted to build in the northwest, although now that it's in a snow biome, I don't think I'll ever bother. I try and avoid the snow when I can. Obviously I'm going to use a f not quite as many blocks now because I've changed the plan a little bit. This is going to be fine. Obviously I'm not going to face the hordes here. I don't want the building getting damaged. And it's 
not really a good idea to um, face the horde at the same place um, you live. That's just a good way to get wrecked. Do I have any iron bars? I think I'm going to need a lot of them for this. If I build a custom place, I want the zombies to get in underneath so I can fire down on them. And, you know, I mean, I've got dynamite and molotovs and I want to toss them down on it. I'm probably going to need a lot of bars, but I also need a roof to keep the buzzards away. entertaining of videos but I just gotta hear about all my plans. So yeah. At least that's how I'm hoping things will go. Alright. Maybe I'll play something like Borderlands or something next. I mean Borderlands 3 is on Steam now so I don't really have an excuse. Anyway, that's all the construction work for today. <laughs> Thank God. Anyway, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in 7 Days to Die.